In this video, we will discuss how we can create a balanced binary search tree from a given sorted array. So we are given this set of sorted array elements and we have to create a balanced binary search tree from them. If we simply try to create a binary search tree from these elements, then 11 will be the root, 22 will come on the right because it is greater than 11, 33 will come on the right of 22, 44 will come on the right of 33, 55 will come on the right of 44, and 88 will come on the right of 77. So this is not a balanced BST because all the nodes are aligned in one direction and the left child is null. So this tree is also known as squid tree. So here the nodes are aligned on the right. So this is the right squid tree. If the nodes are aligned in the left, then it will be the left squid tree. So the problem with these kind of trees is that the searching operation is not very efficient because if you have to find node 88, we'll have to traverse the entire tree and then we'll reach node 88. So the BST is usually created when the searching operation is needed to be efficient. So this defeats the purpose of creating the BST. So here we want to create a balanced binary search tree out of these sorted array elements. So balanced binary tree will look something like this. So this is just one of the BSTs that is balanced. We can have many others like this is also one of the balanced BSTs. So we can have many balanced BSTs out of these array elements. Our task is to create a balanced BST given any set of sorted array elements. Let's see the approach on how we can create a balanced BST. So we have seen if we simply insert these nodes one by one, then the tree that we get is not balanced. So the approach that we will take is we'll split the tree into two parts. Let's say this is the midpoint, this is the right part, and this is the left part. As the array elements are sorted, so all the elements to the right of 44 are greater, and the elements to the left of 44 are small. So small elements will come on the left subtree, and the larger elements will come on the right subtree. So in the first step, we took out a node from these array elements and made it the root of the tree. So 44 is the root. The elements to the left of 44 are part of the left subtree. Elements to the right are part of the right subtree. Then you simply have to do the same step recursively for the left and the right subtrees. So for the left subtree, we'll pick out node 22. The left element is smaller, so it will come in the left subtree. The right element is greater, so it will come in the right subtree. Similarly, for the right subtree, we'll pick 66 as the midpoint. So 55 will be the left and 77,88 will come on the right. And now we'll do the same for 77,88. So 77 will be the midpoint, 88 will be on the right. And this is the balanced BST that we will get. So in every step, we are finding the midpoint. Midpoint becomes our node. Elements to the left are smaller. So these will come in the left subtree. Greater elements will come in the right subtree. So this is the approach that we will follow to create a balanced binary search tree out of these sorted array elements. Now let's have a look at the pseudocode. So we have this function array to BST, which takes two parameters start and end. So for the first call to this function, the start will be zero, which is the zeroth index of the array and end will be seven, which is the last index of the array. We check a start is greater than end. So this is our base condition. Then we compute the midpoint, which will be start plus end by two. So it will be 3.5. We'll take the floor value. So it will be three. So the index three is 44. So this is our midpoint. Then we create a new tree node with the value 44. Then to set the left of 44, we call this function array to BST and we pass the parameters start zero and mid minus one, which is two. So at 44, the start was zero, the mid was three and the end is seven. This is start, this is mid and this is end. Now for the left of 44, we call this function array to BST and we pass the parameters zero and two. We check if start is greater than end. 
then we compute the midpoint which will be 1 then we create a new tree node with the value array 1 which is 22 and then to set the left of 22 we call this function array to bst and we pass the parameters start 0 mid minus 1 is also 0 so at 22 the start is 0 mid is 1 and the end is 2 so now we call this function array to bst for start 0 and end 0 we check a start is greater than end then we compute the midpoint which will be 0 then we create a new tree node with the 0th index of the array which is 11 so at 11 the start is 0 the mid is 0 and the end is also 0 then to set the left of 11 we call this function array to bst and we pass the parameters 0 comma minus 1 so now this call is for the parameters 0 comma minus 1 when start is greater than end we return null so this function call will return null so the left of 11 becomes null and now to set the right of 11 we call this function array to bst and we pass the parameters 1 comma 0 so for 1 comma 0 also when the first parameter is greater than the second we return null so the left of 11 will also be null then we go back to 22 and at 22 the start is at 0 the end is at index 2 and the mid is at index 1 so for 22 we call this function array to bst and we pass the parameters mid plus 1 which is 2 and the end is also 2 so for this call to array to bst start and end both are pointing to the second index of the array which is 33 we check a start is greater than end then we compute the midpoint which will be 2 so all start mid and end are pointing to the second index then we create a new tree node with the second index of the array which is 33 and then to set the left of 33 we call this function array to bst and we pass the parameters start which is 2 and mid minus 1 which is 1 so here also when first parameter is greater than the second we return null so left of 33 will be null and now we call this function to set the right of 33 we pass the parameters 3 comma 2 here also first parameter is greater than second so right of 33 will also be null then we backtrack to 22 call to 22 is done we backtrack to 44 and now for 44 we have to call this function to set the right subtree so at 44 the midpoint is 3 the start was 0 and the end is at 7 so now we call this function array to bst and we pass the parameters mid plus 1 which is 4 and the end which is 7 so the start is 4 and the end is 7 we check a start is greater than end then we compute the midpoint which will be 11 by 2 which is 5 then we create a new tree node for the fifth index of the array which is 66 then to set the left of 66 we call this function array to bst with the parameters 4 and 4 now for this call to array to bst start and end both are pointing to the fourth index we check a start is greater than end then we compute the midpoint which is 4 plus 4 by 2 which becomes 4 then we create a new tree node with the fourth index of the array which is 55 to set the left of 55 we call this function array to bst with the parameters 4 and mid minus 1 which is 3 so here first parameter is greater than second so the left of 55 will point to null then we call this function to set the right of bst and the parameters are mid plus 1 which is 5 and the end is 4 so here also start is greater than end so the right of 54 will point to null then we backtrack to 66 and for node 66 we have to call this function array to bst the mid plus 1 is 6 and the end is 7 so now the start becomes 6 and the end is 7 we check if start is greater than end then we compute the midpoint which is 13 by 2 which is 6 we create a new tree node with the sixth index of the array which is 77 then to set the left of 77 we call this function array to bst the parameters are 
start which is 6 and mid minus 1 which is 5. So when start is greater than end this function will return null. So left of 77 will be null. And now we have to set the right of 77. So we call this function array to BST. The parameters are mid plus 1 which is 7 and the end is also 7. Now this call is done for the parameters start and end both are 7. We check a start is greater than end. We compute the midpoint which is also 7th index. We create a new tree node with the 7th index of the array which is 88. Then to set the left of 88 we call this function array to BST and we pass the parameters start 7 and mid minus 1 as 6. So when start is greater than end we return null. So left of 88 will be null. And then we call this function to set the right of node 88. The parameters are 8 comma 7. So here also first parameter is greater than second. So this will also be null. And at the end we return the note. So we'll backtrack to 77. We'll backtrack to 66. And we'll backtrack to 44. So the output of this function will be the node 44 which is the root of the binary search tree. So in this manner by recursively splitting the tree into two parts we are able to create this balanced binary search tree. The time complexity of this algorithm is order of n because we are visiting all the nodes of the array. Now once you've understood how this algorithm works let's have a look at the implementation. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my github repository link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function I have this vector in which I have kept all the elements of the array. So these are sorted. Then I call this function sorted array to BST in which I pass the vector, the starting index of the vector and the last index of the vector. In this function I check if start is greater than end then I return null. Then I compute the midpoint. So it is start plus end minus start by 2. So this is done to avoid the integer overflow in case the start and end elements are very huge. So writing this way will prevent the integer overflow. So this is same as start plus end by 2. Then we create a node of the mid index of the vector. Then I recursively call this function for the left and the right subtree. For the left I pass the parameters start and mid minus 1. For the right I pass the parameters mid plus 1 to end. And at the end I return the node. In the main function I print the in order traversal and the pre order traversal of the tree. Let's have a look at the output of this program. So balanced PST has been created from these array elements. In order traversal is the increasing order and the pre order traversal is this. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please write down in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.